Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, another day of prayer. My wife, take it, take it, take it. All right. I, as you hear my wife, just compare my wife to myself and wonder how we survived 23 years of marriage. All right. I'll ask you the questions later. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, my wife. I love you so much. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining again. So I'll quickly just run up to where I stopped from yesterday, and I trust God that he will um, convey the message that he has for us. So um, I, I, it's, it's like a charge and um, an encouragement for us as we gather. Um, this morning, it, it's, it's just a reminder, what is, what is your why and what is the what? We have been gathering here, this is the, the, the fourth week and we, I know, we all have made time within this 12, uh, 12 o'clock to 12.30 just because there is something. So what is your why and what is your what is, is, is the drive behind this. So I, I will just share these two scriptures based on which I have begun to, you know, come into the flow of what this praying in the Holy Ghost is all about to me. And I, I just pray it encourages us and let us look further to what it is God really has in store for us. I, I, I think and I believe that there is much more that the Lord has set this for. And I don't want to be left out of it and definitely not you. I have arranged and programmed myself around this time. And God in his faithfulness has allowed us to, you know, one way or the other meet up with this time. So the two scriptures that I will start with before I share how it has affected me and how it can encourage us to go for that is um, the Hebrews um, 5, 14, the last part that says, those who by the reason of the use of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. We have been coming here every day for four weeks to speak, to pray in the spirit. Why, why are we doing this? Because we want to exercise. What comes out of exercising and use? We get better. Our confidence is built. We, we are able to discern. We are able to understand better what it is that the Lord is saying to us at this time. We are, we are able to build ourselves. What are we building? So I will use my example. In, in, in John 14, 26, it, it talks about all the things that the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit teaches, it opens up our minds to so many things. And the last part that got me is, he causes us to remember the things that he has spoken to us. Another version says, he, he brings to our remembrance what he has said, all the things that he has said. So now using my testimony based on all of this, when I started initially, before all of coming here to, to speak, you know, with our, uh, to pray in the Holy Ghost. I start speaking in tongues and I feel as if I have, I have, I have spent a long time. And when I look at the time, like, ah, I've only done five, 10 minutes. And it's as if ah, it's a long time. The Lord was using this time to measure how much I have grown. By the time I look at the time and say, ah, where have I reached now? I see that ah, I have gone beyond five minutes. It is now eight minutes. What, what is he saying? This, the, 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 the spirit builds. It means I am building capacity in the place of dwelling in speaking and praying in tongues where the Lord unveils. We bring into remembrance an example for me. The Lord had given me a song and some scriptures way back in 2018. At that time, 2018 was a dark time for me. So there, there was no way I would, I would be able to listen or hear anything. But he has, during the course of all of this, he reminded me of those songs, of that particular song and the scripture. And it now makes meaning. I didn't plan it and it is now coming together. So my encouragement to us is, why are you here? What is it that you want to get? And the, why your why will be what will push you to go for that. There is much more than what it is that we are doing here. There is much more for us to get and for the group, any time we come on, anything that drops on my mind, I try to put it on the space. And one thing I got for this group is we have dipped our feet in oil. How deep, how high do we want this oil to come? Is it knee length? Is it our ankle? Is it our chest? It is left to us. Our coming here every day has to have a meaning for each and every one of us. 
which means that if by any chance today, we, God says no more, we, this, this Holy Ghost thing is off. What have you gained? How have you built? How have you increased? What can you take away? The last thing I will say is, another thing is, when we are speaking and praying in tongues, we are building ourselves. Can you measure what it is that you are getting? Can you make reference to what it is that you are getting? The Lord is able to, by the Spirit, unveil and open so many other things that we can. So as we go and we come every time with a purpose and a focus, it's not just for the group, but for our own individual lives. Let's begin to say the Lord, let the words of our mouth, the meditations of our hearts be acceptable unto you that we'll be able to make references that in our lives, in our families, in this group, and in our work and our faith with God, we will fight a good war, war, war fight, work war, of, of faith with what that we are speaking in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.